in your new book, The Land, Date the Land, is about a journey you and your husband have been on for your ministry. So how did this journey start? And tell us a little bit about it more today. Yeah, it was about seven years ago. The Lord spoke to me and gave me a vision. And he said, Anna, I want you um, to create. He, he said, bring the prophets, bring the apostles and the frontline ministers to my banquet table. He said, I want you to create a place of respite. Mm. And he said, times are coming where they're going to be pouring out so strongly. They need a place of peace mm. to come to where nothing is demanded on them but they are literally to feast in my presence. And he said, the peace will already be there. Yes, it's Lord. not something you're going to have to contend for, Anna. It's already Amen. there. And um, it was about seven years. When I wrote this, it was six years, but mm -hmm. now it's seven years ago that the Lord spoke that to me. And he started to show me a vision of exactly what that land would look like. Mm -hmm. When God can speak specifically yes. to you, and you can hear the voice of God clearly. The enemy absolutely wants you, especially when you're close to walking into your promise. The enemy wants you to feel like you cannot hear the voice of God clearly. And I just want to um, break that off of you yes. Yes. right Thank now, you, that you yes. can hear the voice of God clearly. Amen. And Amen. you are hearing him clearly. Often we get a lot of confusion yeah. comes in. And that was part of what I went through personally of just, did I, I hear you right, God? And you know, it, so anyways, long story short, the Lord gave us this specific word and um, all these prophetic words started pouring in. These mm -hmm. people started calling me, prophets I know, saying, you're going to build. The builder's anointing is on you. And, and I'm just like, okay. But God was very careful. And he said to me, Anna, don't throw this out to everyone. Don't yeah. bring everyone into the birthing room. Right, That's you talk right. about that. And he that said, if here. you oh. bring everyone in, if you cast your vision out before it's really ready, the mm -hmm. timing, mm -hmm. it can only slow down the process. And so we didn't put it out there. Mm -hmm. We were really careful. Mm -hmm. And we just processed it with God and we asked him for clarity. I took it before our apostles that are over us, mm -hmm. our ministry, and just said, you know, this is what I feel we're called to do. I'd love wisdom. If God tells you no, please tell me. Yeah. Um, and I submitted it to all the, you know, the right people. And we prayed, fasted, contended for years for it. And, um, and God brought clarity. Yeah. Um, God can give you a prophetic word. He can give us a prophetic word in it. Then we have to steward it. Yeah. What do you do with the prophetic word God's given you? Do you write it down? Do you, like, I, I remember God gave me that scripture in Habakkuk that says write things plain, write the word plainly and clearly. And so I wrote it down and put it on my wall. Vera's here. She can contest for it. Like we had the picture of the land and we would pray. We would lay hands on it, my yeah. husband and me, and pray and declare that this will come to be. And we had to keep doing that yes. because I'll tell you what, you can get a word yeah. And then right behind this awesome promise of God comes a whole array of warfare. Yes. yes. And that's what happened. Yeah. And we got hit with every door closed, every shut, I'm serious, every shut door closed possible. Mm. And so, um, you know, when, okay, so when Moses went and he sent spies out to go spy yeah. out the promised land, the spies came back and said, there's big giants in the land right? And they were like, we're intimidated. Well, my giants in the land over this promise was I had fear. I felt defeated. The things that I had to overcome in the spirit yeah. was the enemy hitting with me with this whole thing of you can't do this. Yeah. Right. It's really not possible. You won't have the finances to be able to do this. I mean, I've never gone after a piece of land before. For, I know you have, okay? I know I'm preaching to you, God. Why am I telling you? You know, there, but for me, this is really stretching. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I don't know, God. Like, this is a new, pl I don't, you know, I don't, God, are you sure? You picked yeah. the right person for this. Are you sure? Um, those were my giants that I had to really ask the Lord for help on defeating those things because the enemy wanted me to feel absolutely stuck. So that's kind of been part of our process. Along the way, even the enemy came at us with a counterfeit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just be really honest with you because I thought, okay, we found it. We found it. 
And, and it wasn't right. Oh. It wasn't. And I took it before Patricia and apostolic coverage over it, and they're like, we don't have peace. And I'm like, I don't either. Sometimes when you don't feel peace, there's yes. a reason behind it, even though you can't explain it. 